Hello, so today I'm going to cook a snowman using cereal and marshmallows. I know that some of you didn't get the chance to join the session where we were making this craft cooking class together online. So I'm going to make this video to show you how can you do it during the holidays. I'm at the second floor of the library and we are going to cook a snowman using marshmallows and cereal. In the recipe I also add butter, but I don't have butter anymore. It's not super necessary, but you can add it if you would like to. So today I will make two snowmen, so I will use 10 marshmallows. If I was going to make just one, I might use just five little marshmallows, well, regular sized marshmallows. So in this occasion, I will use um, 10. I'm going to put all the marshmallows over a plate or a bowl. I'm using a plate right now. I will recommend you to use a bowl. Eight. 10. So here I have my 10 marshmallows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 marshmallows. And I'm going to put them in the microwave for one minute. Let's put the marshmallows together. They are going to start growing inside of the microwave so you don't have to feel afraid that they are starting like, they are going to explode or something. It's normal if they start growing, you will see. But you need to take, keep an eye over them so we don't make a mess, right? So I'm going to show you how does it look like in the microwave. I'm going to put one minute and I'm going to let them melt. This is a fun activity that you can make with your brothers, your cousins, your parents at home, and it's really easy to make for children. With, your, with the students from second grade, third grade, and fourth grade, we'd have fun making this in our last library class. So yes, and you see my marshmallows are growing. I need to make sure that they don't fall over the microwave. I think they're going to be okay. Good. So yes, look at them. They are super, they grow so bad in the microwave, but that's fine. Now that the marshmallows are hot, I need to mix them super fast with cereal. If I wait until it gets cold, the, the cereal is not going to attach to my marshmallows anymore. So I mix them a little bit before, and then I'm start adding the cereal little by little. Let me show you how. I'm going to grab my cereal. I'm going to add a little bit of it. I will mix it, and then I will add a little bit more. So now that I put some marshmallows and cereal, I mix this, and then I need to add more until it's not super sticky. Right now, my marshmallows are super sticky. Look, so I need to add more cereal. You will do it little by little. The marshmallows are going to be hot when you take them out of the microwave. So you need to be careful to don't burn yourself. You might need the help of someone else. So now that the marshmallows are not hot anymore, I can grab them with my hands. Be careful to don't make a mess with your hands. You can add more cereal if it still is too sticky. So now we can put our hands inside and use it as Play-Doh. I'm going to stick all the cereal around. 
it's still a little bit sticky. Maybe I will need a little bit more of cereal. And what I want to do is to take it out of my hands and build a snowman. You want to use this as it is Play-Doh. You want to play with it and move it around so you can build two bowls for making your snowman. I'm using Choco Crispy, but any kind of cereal works. The more popular cereal for making this is Rice Krispies, um, but it works with Choco Krispies, Fruit Loops, or any other kind of cereal. So look, I'm taking out all the, the cereal that still stick to my plate, and I'm making a bowl. Remember that I need to wait until it's not that hot, when it's a little bit warm, but don't wait too much because if not, it's going to get start getting hard and you're not going to be able to move it. So now I'm going to build one bowl. Here it is. My snowman. I'm going to put it on over a plate and then I will put the second bowl over it. So ta-da, I have my two bowls snowman. Now it's your turn to add decorations. I have some decorations downstairs. And I'm going to add the eyes of my snowman. And also I will put a small hat. Do you want to come with me to doing it? Let's go. So right now Miss Pony is going to go to take the rest of her materials and I'm going to make a decoration and at the end I'm going to show you how does it looks like so this is simple it's easy to do and I hope that you have fun making it with your family at home have happy winter break see you soon